take it. No, you wanna see me naked, naked, naked. I wanna be a baby, baby, baby. Spinning in as much as I can from me, Cause I can do some things that I'm gonna do. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 thoughts. Wow. Hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm back with another sewing video so as you can tell from the title below and the intro i just showed you guys i will be making this rihanna inspired wild thoughts top for you guys since um everyone's been obsessing over that song and as soon as i saw the video i absolutely fell in love with her outfits that she was wearing including the blue dress that she wore in another scene of the video and i was debating between making that blue dress and this top but i decided to go for the top since it was so cute the video literally only came out three weeks ago and i've seen so many inspired makeup looks so i thought why don't i just make a tutorial of how to make one of the outfits since um no one has done this video i thought it'll be a fun little project to try and recreate the top that she was wearing so without further ado let's get into the video and i hope you guys enjoy so to start off i bought three meters of pink chiffon then i bought eight meters of pink satin ribbon but i wasn't really happy with this color guys i kind of wanted it a bit closer to the color of the material but that just had to do for now because that's all i can get my hands on then um, i just have some elastic and matching color thread so the first thing i did was cut out two rectangles and these measured 27 inches by 28 inches and these were the two pieces for my sleeves so once i cut those out i had another piece which was 40 inches by 28 inches and this is going to be the center half of my top and all I'm doing is cutting that in half in order to make two halves for the front and for the back. So in order to get these measurements I just measured around my shoulders which was 42 inches and I just doubled that measurement. So the length of the centre half of your top can be any length, I just decided to do it the same length as the sleeves as I wasn't quite sure um, what length I wanted to cut it first so I'd rather be safe than sorry so um, I decided just to keep the length. Then in order to create my armhole I just measured 8 inches from the top half of the seam um, and that is where our armhole is going to be and then from that point onwards I'm just going to sew downwards. Then I'm going to take my sleeves and repeat the same thing, measure 8 inches from the top half of the rectangle and then I just mark that with a pin and then I sewed about 3-4 inches from that point in order to close it off. So once I did that, all I had to do was put in the sleeves. So all I'm going to do is sandwich the centre half and the sleeve together and I'm just going to sew in a half semicircle in order to make my sleeves. So guys, just a quick tip. Since this is chiffon, this fabric is completely different from your average fabric. So when you are sewing this type of material, make sure you have a firm grip in order to keep the stitch straight because chiffon tends to gather and bunch up if not fed through the machine properly. So once I was done attaching both of my sleeves, I went ahead and started hemming the top half of my top by folding over about two inches all the way around in order to create the frill on the top half of the top. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, hemming chiffon is not fun. So in order just to make it a little bit easier, I went ahead and just ironed down the seam before I sewed it just to give me a bit of help because pinning it doesn't really do anything because the fabric is so soft, the pins just fall out. So this was just a really quick, easy thing for me to do. So I'm just folding over a couple of millimetres first just to um, 
firm the little raw edges then I went ahead and sewed down my two inches all the way around and remembering guys to hold the fabric as taut as possible because you want that line to be as straight as you can So once I was done with that it was time to sew on my satin ribbon and this is going to make the tunnel for our elastic to sit on our shoulders. So I'm just going to sew that down all the way around the top. Then you just want to take your elastic and I'm just taking that and measuring it around my shoulders just to see how I want my top to sit and then I'm going to take a safety pin and put that through one half of the elastic and then close it off and then I'm going to start feeding my elastic through the tunnel that I made earlier. So once I was done doing that, this is how it looked. So I just gave it a quick try on just to see how it fit. Then I'm going to repeat the same step just underneath my bust and around the top half of my arms. And this is how it came out just under the bust. So now I'm just taking my elastic and I'm going to measure just under my bust area just to see the measurement. Then I decided to cut another rectangle that was about 30 inches long and all I'm doing is gathering it under my machine. As you guys can see it's kind of naturally doing it by itself because I'm not holding the fabric tight but um, I just did this really quickly in order to create a frill underneath my bust area as I cut the material but I wasn't really happy with the volume of it so this is how it turned out. I'm sorry that I don't have a footage of me putting it in guys I thought I was recording and nothing was happening so yeah this is how it turned out so all I'm doing now is going to close off my sleeve since, since I've attached the tunnel and the elastic on the top half of my arms then once I did that I made two more rectangles in order to make the frills at the bottom half of my sleeve so all I'm going to do is do the exact same process I did just underneath my bust by putting my rectangles through the machine on a really loose white stitch. Then in order to create the gathers that I wanted, I just took apart the top and the bottom half of the thread and you can pick either one but I always go for the bottom thread and then all you want to do is pull that thread gently across the top half of your seam until you start to see the fabric gather and then you just keep pulling that thread until you get to the other end of your material. So once I was done with all my frills, all I'm doing now is attaching it to the bottom half of my sleeve. I just measured um, how far up I wanted it to my wrist and it was about 5 inches. So I'm just sewing 5 inches up from the bottom half of my sleeve and just doing either, you can do either a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch all the way around in order to secure the frills so they don't move. Then once I was done doing both half of the sleeves, 
I was basically done. Um, you can hem the bottom half of the sleeves and the bottom half of the bust, but I just kind of liked that um, the raw edge of them, so I just decided to leave it. But it's completely optional. You can hem it if you'd like. But yeah, this is the finished look. And yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Again, like I said, guys, in the beginning, if I could find a different coloured ribbon, I probably would be even more in love with it. But I'm probably going to attempt to make another one of these since I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. And yeah, you can make this in so many different colours and just vary the different style and how you do it. So yeah, just go wild with it. Um, with the sleeves, I actually ended up just leaving them pretty loose, but you can make them tighter on your wrist, but I just like the way they flowed swinging naturally on my wrist, so I decided to leave them a bit looser. But yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next. If you guys have any other video suggestions, i.e making celebrity inspired outfits so be sure to leave them down below in the comments because i feel like this is going to be a reoccurring thing for me i really enjoy like recreating looks that i see online so if you guys have any suggestions do not hesitate to comment them down below if you haven't already and other than that i shall see you guys in the next one peace